One of the slower things to try and get your hands on in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom are the bubble gems. Now, there is a brand new method for you guys to farm bubble gems in one place very fast and quickly and just be able to get your hands on all the bubble gems you need in order to get all the rare armors from Kilton. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that right now. So the most important thing bubble gems are for in this game is to trade with Colton, who will appear in various places around the map, and he will have a special bunch of armor for you. Here he's giving me the mystic robe. It appears to be something you can only do at night time, so you can buy everything from him if you have enough bubble gems. So the good news is, if you are using your bubble gems this way, you will be able to get the entire armor set in one night, as long as you have enough gems. And I'm going to show you guys how to get enough gems, so that you can all buy this armor set right here, which is actually really nice, and it gives you an ability which is called rupee padding. That means you will actually be invincible as long as you have enough rupees, and if you combine that with the duplication glitch we did in the last video, you'll never run out of rupees and you'll never run out of health. Colton can be found at this exact spot right beside the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower at night time for anyone who wants to do those kind of trades with them. So for the glitch in question, you're going to want to go to the Whirlpool in the Zora area, which you'll be able to see in the East Reservoir Lake. If you haven't gone here yet for the story, you'll have to come here for a bit of the story and then get in there you'll find a bubble frog in there. You'll be able to see the big whirlpool anyway. So make your way into that. So this place is fairly big. What you're looking for is this bridge up high, okay? You wanna get up very, very high. And this is gonna be when you first enter a little bit to the upper right area. And you're gonna find a small cave that looks like this. You can see where I am on the map as well. You can see on the mini map here so you know where you're going when you're doing it yourselves. You make your way up here and you'll enter a big cavern with the bubble frog in this cave, which we're gonna do the glitch with. Stand a bit away from the bubble frog so he doesn't know you're here, but make sure you're still able to kill him, and also make sure you can use the rising ability above you, so make sure you get into a good position. So this is it, perfect. We can ascend here, but first of all, we are going to kill this boy right here. Let's go ahead and shoot our arrows. I know he's dead now, so we're gonna go ahead and ascend. Let's go up here, and after about three seconds, we're gonna hit B and come back down. And whatever, for whatever reason, whatever's happening here in this cave, we, as you can see it happening right before you, the guy we just killed dies, drops the bubble gem. We get another one spawning on the wall right there and we can rinse and repeat this as many times as we want. That's about three seconds, let's hit the B, come back down. <laughs> and voila, there's another one. Let's see how fast we can do this. There's another one gone. Up we go. One, two, three, B. All right, it's just rinse and repeat. Very quick farming for the bubble gems. And as you probably know by now from the Kilton thing, if you've been doing some of them, uh, you don't need that many. You don't need that many to get everything. You're just gonna need, like, pretty much most of his items are about a cost of four gems a piece. And sometimes he intermittent, like, he intermittently gives you junk. So that's fine, you just gotta buy the junk once and then you get another piece of armor. And then after that you'll have another piece of junk and you just gotta buy another piece of armor. And honestly the only arm- oops, we don't need that. The only armor you're gonna be wanting to buy from him anyway is the mystic stuff. And there's like a couple of helmets for the enemies. It's up to you guys uh, how many pieces you wanna get, but you'll be able to farm as many gems as you want doing this method as you can see me doing right here, which is super cool. So there you go, that's your that's your path to 999 bubble gems. So that is the glitch guys, enjoy that. You'll be able to farm everything from Kilton very easily and get all that stuff accessible very quick by doing this method. Just keep in mind, there's only a couple of caves that do this. I showed you the way to one that does work. So hopefully none of you guys found that. It's a pretty it's a pretty hard one to find anyway. So you probably skipped it. The, good, the odds are very good. So you'll be able to go back there where I showed you and try to do this glitch so you can get as many bubble gems really, really quickly. It'll save you from going from cave to cave, only getting one. All right, have fun with that. I'll see you around the next video. Till then, bye.